all you have to do is choose the interface, click Add. Okay. When you do that, it adds it as an optional interface. And so what I do is I go in, I'm going to rename this so that I know that this is the WAN 2's parent interface. And so when I'm looking at it in all the other interfaces, it's easy to identify. I click Enable and I hit Save and then Apply. And that's it. That should solve your problem. Hopefully this helps. Okay, so you run an OpenSense firewall on a virtual machine, perhaps using KVM or Proxmox, something like that. And you upgrade to the latest version of OpenSense 22.1 and all of a sudden your network speeds or your internet speeds and your network speeds if you have VLANs between the VLANs takes a nosedive. You spend hours and hours trying to figure this out and you just can't do it. You didn't really change any of the settings. Um, of course, obviously, when you upgrade the firmware, there are going to be lots of changes. But um, you just can't rack your, you know, you just can't figure it out. You're racking your brain, you're searching the forums. And then you come across uh, this post here. What they're talking about, they're describing this issue where this guy has uh, OpenSense in a QMU KVM environment. Plenty of performance. He upgrades and all of a sudden his as he put it, general performance is abysmal. Uh, I, I experienced this uh, and I, I thought, gosh, maybe it's something. Uh, well, at first I thought it was my hardware. I thought, I thought my hardware had gone bad. And after hours and hours of troubleshooting and freaking out, I came to the answer of this. So everybody here is running Vert IO on Proxmox. Not everybody's on Proxmox, but they're running Vert IO. And then here comes um, Franco, and he says, please assign VTNet zero, and VTNet is a virtual interface for this guy, set up right here. VTNet um, zero, then enable it, and then do not configure anything else. Just assign it, enable it, and then hit save, and you should be good. Well, at first that didn't, uh, I, I personally didn't understand what he was saying in this case. So we come over to the release notes and a lot of detail, but we're going to go down to a specific section called known issues. And I had read through this before upgrading, but sometimes when you're reading stuff, there's, you know, a lot of times you don't even know what it means. You're like, oh, okay, great. That, that probably doesn't affect me because I, I don't understand it. Um, but in particular, this known issue right here, media settings are no longer shown for non-parent interfaces and need to be set individually to take effect. This can introduce unwanted configuration due to previous side effects in the code. If the parent interface, and this is the important part, if the parent interface was not previously assigned, please assign it to reapply the required media settings. So what they're talking about here is when you when you are using virtualization, and this is the same in PFSense as well, there are some settings in the firewall setup that um, control how the, the, the interface handles uh, the processing of traffic in the virtual interface. And so you have to set um, some, some settings, which I'll show you in just a second. But basically what they're saying here is, hey, if you had a, a let's say you had a VLAN or something and you assigned uh, the VLAN as an interface in the system, but did not assign the parent. So let's say you have VTNet zero in, in this guy's instance. So he had VTNet zero, um, but he didn't assign that parent interface. He just, he had these um, VLANs that he was assigning but he didn't, he basically, and, and this is the way mine was set up as well, I didn't assign the, the actual interface to anything. I just left it unassigned. And so when this 
in this new uh, in in 22.1 if if the parent interface is not assigned you get basically the the media settings don't get applied to any of the vlans because they're applied at the parent level and so uh, what you have to do is you have to go in and as our friend franco says here you have to go assign the interface enable it and hit save and you're done and sure enough that's that's the fix so let me show you what that's about, and uh, hopefully this helps save you hours and hours. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna admit how many hours, but um, anyway, here we go. Okay, so we are in the OpenSense interface, uh, management interface. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger so you can actually see. All right, there we go. Um, if we come here to interfaces, you can see I have a bunch of, of interfaces, VLANs and um, various items. And in particular, I have two uh, internet connections. One is um, from a company called Cox, the other is from Verizon. And, um, and so, I have two internet connections coming in, and then I have a bunch of VLANs that I use to separate out uh, various aspects of my network, but that's not really the important part. We're going to come here to assignments, and you're going to see that um, I don't have any, un let me come back out a little bit, I don't have any unassigned, uh, unassigned interfaces. So for example, let's do, let's see, WAN2, I'm okay getting rid of that. So I'm gonna delete this assignment. Yes, okay. And now we come down here and you see I have uh, an option for new interface and I have this VTNet, which is the physical, or in, in this case, it's technically the virtual interface of the firewall. This firewall is running off of uh, Proxmox. And so I have three virtual network interfaces added to the virtual machine and so it, this is how it shows up <clears throat> and in this case I'm using this second or this VTNet 0 or I'm sorry VTNet 2 which is the third interface because I have uh, come up here I have VTNet uh, VTNet 0 which is my my LAN interface I have all my VLANs coming off of that interface and then I have uh, VTNet1 here, which is the WAN1 parent, or that's my main uh, ISP, which is Verizon. So that's using uh, interface 1 on VLAN 666. Okay. Um, and so when, when the upgrade happened, because this interface isn't assigned, anything that's a VLAN of this interface doesn't get the necessary settings applied to it based on what this is describing here. So these media settings are no longer shown for non-parent interfaces, meaning um, because um, WAN2 underscore Cox is actually a virtual interface, VLAN 667, and even though that is assigned on this virtual NIC, it is not getting the, the uh, the settings for, we come here to settings, for these media settings. So you have this hardware, CRC, TSO, and LRO. These are basically, when when these are disabled and you're using a virtual interface, the performance suffers because the firewall is not handling the traffic passing through the virtual NIC properly. Okay, And so before you didn't have to assign come back to assignments, I did not have to assign the actual parent interface in order for those settings I just showed you to take effect. But now in version 22.1 we do. So just to show you what uh, those instructions from Franco mean, we're just going to come back up here to assignments and all you have to do is choose the interface, click add, okay. When you do that, it adds it as an optional interface. And so what I do is I go in, I'm going to rename this so that I know that this is uh, the, the 
WAN 2's parent interface. And so when I'm looking at it in all the other interfaces, it's easy to identify. I click Enable, and I hit Save, and then Apply. And that's it. That should solve your problem. Hopefully this helps. Please leave feedback, and uh, yeah, let me know if you want any other videos. Take care.